Hello everyone. So today we'll be looking at another easy level array questions on lead code. Uh, it's called concatenation of array. Now the question is uh, a little bit similar to what we had uh, in the first one. Uh, build array from permutation. Okay, just a minor change in the logic. That's it. And uh, yeah, so this time also they have provided the logic in the question. So what they want us to do is let me open this. Yeah. So so they have already provided us let's say an array. Okay. And they want us to create a different array twice the length of the earlier one. So one, two, three, four. Five and six. Okay. Now this is index one, zero, one, two, three, four, five. So six elements. Okay. Now what they want us to do is the at first index and index plus the length of this, let's say n. That is three. At that position these values should remain same okay so here it is one and here it is one similarly here it should be two and here it should be two similarly here it is one and here it is one so it's quite a simple thing uh, we'll start with the coding first we will initialize our array answer close to new int now they we want an array with twice the length of earlier one. So we'll multiply this by two. Now um, we'll start with we'll start with the for loop. I less than nums dot length. We'll only go till this length. Okay, because zero, then we'll pass it to different values one and two. That's the last place we want to go. In I plus plus. Okay. Now they have already given us the logic. We'll simply copy that and paste it here. Uh, similarly, uh, i plus n and here. Now we have we don't know what n is. N is nothing but the length of our array. So we'll what we'll do is we'll first create n equals to num dot length, and everywhere where there is num dot length, we'll put n. Okay, and at the end we will return our answer array. Okay, oh, uh, this is we, this is not comparison, this is oh god, just a minor. Syntax errors that we are getting. Okay, so that's it uh, for Java. Now we'll move to C++. And as you can see, the logic is completely same, and not much difference is there. So what we'll do is we'll simply copy this logic from our Java code, and we will move to C++. I will copy this Java code. Now we need n here now. We need n and then and a vector answer. Okay. So first let's find n. N is nothing but the size of our given array. And next we'll initialize our answer. And that is nothing but n times 2. Okay, and uh, yeah, submit that. So this is as easy as that. Okay, um, in the beginning we'll go through some uh, easy level. Just I think uh, you know where the acceptance ratio, acceptance percentage is high. Now going forward we'll be moving to a little difficult ones where the acceptance percentage is less. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's it for now. Um, let me know in 
if you want me to solve any other questions from any other website or any other platform okay so see you in the next video bye bye